Okay, these are her uh, more harassing texts. Um, this one states, they told you're dumb. The bus was out of service. They said they were going to the garage. You stood there and uh, argued. You don't listen. Nobody trapped you crazy on a train. You liar. July 4th, 408 a.m. On the green line going to Buckner, I was locked on a train. The bus driver did not open the door for multiple different stops, which is a requirement, so people can get off the train. He did not do that. It was on camera footage. The police, Lindsay, would not take a report and uh, review the camera footage they covered for it. Okay, this is another party. Kiana, you are the one who refuses to accept your her mental illness and think it's people trying to frame you with it. It's fact you do suffer from mental illness and don't take your medication. There are no crimes. How would they know what I'm doing? Nobody has denied anything. You don't follow through and have to be told to go take her medication. You want therapy for domestic abuse, not what you need it for. You aren't being abused at all. People are defending Jason because you are a liar and everyone knows. And everyone knows you can't provide a single shred of actual evidence that he is one the one harassing you. Nobody's setting you up. With, why would people investigate fake reports? Nobody investigates anything because you aren't being stopped. You are not dealing with domestic abuse, and it's an insult to women who really have gone through and um, through that and wasting resources on someone who needs mental help. You think everyone, everything is out against you, including Metricare, the one placed equipped, the one placed equipped to deal with people like you. Well, I've actually talked to women before my uh, environments really got controlled. And I told them what was going on. And they said that they actually were in a domestic violence were abusive, where they actually had physical hits. And they said that they've been in bo on both sides. And multiple parties said that it, the emotional abuse is way more damaging than the actual hits. They said that they can heal from that. But the, that emotional stuff sticks with you. And I think the involved parties are, are fully aware of the damage of the emotional and physical distress they're causing. And I think it's intentional. But it's complicated when you can use the government. I think that's why multiple people would come up to me, threaten me, degrade me, harass me. I think that's why all that was set up. You don't have flying monkeys because that would mean you are in a real abuse situation that's cut off again which you are not. Telling you the truth is not harassment. Understand that you don't know what domestic violence is because your situation is not none of that. Supporting Jason isn't it. It's exposing the truth. Just like everyone has told you, you have to go in person. If you just ask for the final order for your case number, when you go, instead of rambling on your crazy conspiracies, you would have no issues. Well, I did go in person. I went in person and they told me that my case uh, went back to the original order where I was a legal custodial parent. In the middle of that, she got a call. I'm not getting stopped. She was interrupted giving me that information and she was told that there was new updated information where my custody rights were taken. That's what happened. So how did they know that I was there to interrupt that if I'm not getting stopped? Who was that that gave her that call? How could that be mis, you know, information for a whole order of someone's child custody that's confused? How can they confuse that information? Well, same thing with CPS. Rashida told you now how to request and get the report of their findings. I did request it online and I requested over the phone and I haven't had responses for either situation. I've requested it multiple times. Why do you expect anything to be just handed to you? These calls are useless. Request the records how you have been told to, and that's it. There is no huge conspiracy. You are so rude and nasty and talk over everyone. Ex expect people to be nice to you. You accuse everyone of something. That's why nobody helps you. You sabotage yourself with your own mouth. 
Everything is your fault. Nobody else but you, not Jason, not the government. Nobody go take your meds and go to Metricare. If you want your family, then you need to accept you have a mental illness and move on and treat it. Nobody is going to waste resources or someone on someone with mental illness with fake delusions of abuse. Nobody is forced to help you. Businesses and organizations can deny anyone they please. You are annoying and complain about everything. That's why nobody bothers with you. Both reps from both shelters, you were at asked what you wanted done, complaining about events that happened two years ago and expecting an answer as to why is done. Nobody is violating anything. You don't have a case, no evidence, no case, not one shred of evidence. Nobody's going to get charged. You may, you may for being a nuisance and using up resources instead of getting your mental health in check. Nobody is spoofing text. It's just going into the next line and getting jumbled because of too many characters. Important that everyone and the government is against you. Answer that. I don't know what that. Important that everyone and the government is against you. Answer that. Not everything is a conspiracy again. Why you? Why do you think you are so? You caused everything to get kicked out of the hotels. Nobody did anything but you. Okay, so this is, um, you know, if a narcissist, a narcissistic individuals are abusive and to be able to use that power to cause people to set up for people to demean someone, threaten them, attack them, take, and I think that he actually, by me being forced to be my own prof profiler, I think he's enjoying this. I do. I think that he's taking gratification. I think that these ticks come through because I think he enjoys the ticks. I think the parties he's controlling because he's a fly, he, he it's protected. He has everyone else doing the dirty work. It doesn't bother him. They're the ones incriminating themselves. He's free and clear, keeping himself safe. He has people do all the dirt, dirty work for him. So I think that he gets a gratification out of controlling people. I do. I think that's why these texts keep coming through because I think he enjoys my posts. I think he loves my channel. I think that the government and they are like shunning it and they are more um, bothered by my post and my page than him. I think it's pleasurable to him. I think that when you know things are going, he, I think that it shows the power that he's able to abuse and that makes him you have the godlike mentality. I think he enjoys that. He told me one time that he was God and I went off on him. You know, so I don't, you know, these are just part of the experiences and um, this is my video diary for today.